Hey guys, I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. Whether you're watching this in the morning, in the afternoon, or in the evening, I'm glad you're here. Real quickly, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you to all the channel members. And I want to thank any of you who had a chance to come in to check out my knife, my EDC content. I appreciate it. If you're so inclined, if you've got the time, if you hit that subscribe button and the bell notification icon, it really does help me out. So today, I wanted to kind of feature some of my favorite, a few of my favorite, what I consider not budget necessarily, some of them are, some of them are very budget, but just some good value EDC fixed blades in a couple of different styles. The thing that's going to be the similar, I guess, designing fact or factor that ties them together, I think they're all going to be under six inches. Let's see. This might not be the smallest. This one's five inches. Yeah, I think they're mostly going to be under six inches. Whoops, sorry about that. But this starting out is a little skeletonized N690 scalpel with paracord. You can choose the color paracord depending on what your jam is. But this is the Baltic Blades made by a gentleman by the name of Paulius over in Lithuania. These things are 99 bucks. I have got two of them, and I've got a Gen 1 that I think was given away for a Friday Night Flicks just a couple of weeks ago. But for a $99 handmade knife, and Polyus makes bigger knives too, this is one of those therapeutic slicers. And it's a box shredder. It's an Amazon package opener. It could easily be a dedicated box opening knife. It could easily be a pocket scalpel because it is got a full-sized handle. Um, it could be a Slurpee saver. Uh, just a neat little package. It does not have handles. And I've talked to Paulius about what would be the feasibility of making scales that he sold separately. And I don't think it's something that's necessarily on the, on the horizon. But he does offer the different paracord wraps. And this little guy is a thin 0.1260. So that's not, you know, super thin in terms of blade thickness, but when you look at your overall knife thickness, and then behind the edge, you're looking at 0.0140. And then if I get around that paracord, you're coming in about a little over a quarter of an inch. And I guess you'd call it width. But this is definitely a great knife. Um, a knife, I really like to carry it. I've carried it in my back pocket, which is my preferred method, but I've also carried it on Ulti straps, or excuse me, on uh, the Amazon um, plasticky straps. I've got some leather straps too, but I've never put them on this one, and this is a single strap knife. But moving on, we come to another knife that I thought was going to be sold out. All the links I looked at had it sold out, but these are in stock at Smoky Mountain Knife Works. And they also make this in a drop point, kind of a Bowie that I'm not a fan of. But this knife, when I saw it at White Mountain Knives, when they had them, I really thought was cool. I paid about 119 bucks for it. But these, they're selling at Smoky Mountain Knife Works for like $69.95. I'll put some of my affiliate links in the description or you can just go seek them out, but I'll, I'll search the Sheep's Foot Callies because they've got about three or four in stock. This is the green micarta. It is N690. It is, for some people, a three-finger knife. For me, it's a full four-finger knife, but it's got a really nice place to do a short lanyard tail if you need it to get a little extra grip. Um, it's got a super sharp blade. Um, it is called the the cali um i do not know who that designer is but mercury knives for those of you who don't know is part of the Maniago knife making italian consortium so this is an italian made knife under 70 bucks under five inches again therapeutically slicey and when we look at the spine thickness on this we're going to see this it's much thicker than what we had on our, that's me cutting like a chimpanzee, nothing against chimpanzees. 
but I love the way the sheep's foot looked. I love the thicker handles because when I measure it, you'll see it gives you more to grab onto. This is a cardboard processing machine. Um, this comes in well at five and a half ounces or five and a half inches. And if we were going to look at our blade, boom, 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 we would see that it's 0 0.16, oh, 0 0.1580. And then behind the edge is going to be a little thicker, boom, 0 0.0235. But a nice little knife and the handle thickness instead of being a quarter of an inch it's going to come in at a nice robust contoured 0.52 so the mercury cali has been a knife that i really liked i liked it so much because i like the sheath even though the sheath is cheap it's the weak link but what i liked about it is it's set up for a pocket dropper so it's set up to go inside your pocket, drop right in, which it does fantastically well. You just reach behind here and pull it out. You don't see the knife because this leather is kind of covering it. But it is kind of a cheaper sheath, but it's not an expensive knife. I wish the drop point wasn't so heinous. You might like the drop point. I think there's some at Smoky Mountain Knives, but when I link this, I'll link all of them. I'll just link the Callies, and you guys can check those out. Moving on, we've got a really unique knife, and a knife that I think is super cool. I wish I carried it more. Um, I just have so many knives, and I tested this one a long time ago. I need to do a long-term review on it, because this is probably one of the best value knives in this bunch. This is a USA-made Rainier Knives Fast Pack in LMAX with a really cool people think it's gimmicky but it actually works really well if you're in a pinch and you needed a bit driver you've got a bit driver hole here in the spine of the knife um would i ever use it no because i've got another one but is it cool yeah full four finger handle for anybody no lanyard hole more of a kind of a trout and bird skinner profile but for me this profile for just a EDC knife, a backup carry, or even a primary carry is perfect. I love the fact that it's LMAX. I love the fact that it's USA made and it's, I forget what state, but I could do without the, uh, I, I wouldn't mind if it didn't have the hole, right? But if somebody came after my Slurpee, the hole's not gonna stop me from stopping them, right? So the hole's not a detriment. I just don't think it's needed. I think the knife for $109, and that's their map price. So I think when I bought this knife, I want to say it was about $97 when I picked this up. Came with a Kydex sheath. Came with a different clip, but it did come with a nice, a decent clip. I just do ulti clips, even though they rust and they're shitty and I have to clean them up all the time. Great retention. Great what I think are very nice my car to handles now this knife is if I'm not mistaken gonna be a little bit longer let's see what we got here maybe not too much six and a half inches so it might be our longest knife but you're gonna see it's got a nice blade that gets very thin at the tip back here at the handles you're at 0.12 up at the tip you come down to 0 0.0265. You're behind the edge. 0 0.0115. And a very comfortable handle at 0 0.60 because it's so narrow. 0.59 really locks your hand in. So I think this knife is a surprise for me. One of my all-time favorite little knives that I don't carry nearly enough because it's just kind of instead of being a backup carry it's kind of the same size as my primary carry and I still really like to carry a folder just to carry it but guys don't overlook the fast pack by Rainier Knives and if you hadn't heard about Rainier Knives check them out I mean I think they do some really cool stuff uh, in their American company I'm a fan that is the Rainier fast pack so moving on we come to a little, another little knife, a little Amazon knife. I don't think I got this at Amazon, but I know Amazon has about nine of these in stock if somebody's interested. And this is a tiny little beefy ass knife called the Topps Crowhawk. 
So the crow hawk is going to be the shortest knife, or short, yeah, or yeah, I guess shortest. Uh, well, no, it's five inches too. So it's a five inch knife, but it's got the treated blade, thicker, three quarter flat grind, really aggressive jimping, really nice three finger grip and a place for a lanyard if you wanted to give it more for me i can wrap my fourth finger right around there if there was a little lanyard tail coming off with a knot it'd even be better and i'm sure if you had a bigger hand that would be something that might be more important to you but this has definitely got a thicker grind a thicker edge bevel was sharpened at a higher angle but it still cuts very well and I look at this as more of a stab it through something or really beat it down through some wood or something a little more hard use, even though it's a tiny knife. However, it cuts very, very well. I saw this on Amazon and I want to say it is about, it's one of the more expensive, it's about 108 bucks, right? And it's in 22, 14, 85. Is that the part number? I think that's the, uh, the steel. 1485. I'll put a link to it. It'll tell you what the steel is. But it's a USA made knife. G10 handles with G10 liners. This is the only configuration I think that it comes in. The sheath is kind of cheap, but it does have big enough rivets to use straps like I used on this one, or you could put an ulti clip on it. But it does catch right here, which gives you really good retention in the sheath pop it out great little knife i like little knives so i'm weird there but for 108 bucks usa made little banger of a knife and i'm not even talking about tucson in this grouping because i've given all those away but these are just knives that stay in my collection that i think are fantastic values and i need to share them with you guys so moving on is one we've seen before we won't spend a lot of time with it but it's a banging knife and i'm not even going to mention the clone that's on uh, Amazon. I've got a link to this from Amazon. This is the SE Kendiri, and it's much better. Blade steel, USA made. Um, it comes in right around $75, $76. Um, it is, let's get my little County Com titanium sapphire magnifying glass. Let's see if I can get you guys training and equipment group, Randall Adventures, Kendura, Rowan. Yeah, it doesn't have the blade steel anywhere on there, but it's basically a tool steel, and it's treated again with this super, super thick. Did we get it dimensions on this guy? I'm sorry, guys. Let me break out. Because these are very similar in blade stock. And they're probably both the same blade material. Even though this is a Tops and this is an SE. Right about the same blade stock. This has got a little taller grind. Point oh two eight oh. .0395 and then the handle was what I was curious about so this is .58 almost .6 this is going to be a little narrower at .54 but both of these are over a half inch which to me on a small knife is a good thing no lanyard hole here so this is the grip you've got a three finger grip with a floating um a floating pinky you've got a plastic sheath as opposed to a uh, kydex sheath with mounting holes this when you take the uh, you can take this this belt clip off I find the belt clip works really well for this knife but if you wanted to carry this an alternate way like with straps or with an ulti clip you basically take this off and you're left with 
that let's see if i get i'll take three of them off that way we can pivot it and you guys can see we don't have to take it all the way off because i don't want to run over 20 minutes and it looks like i'm going to be pushing it <sighs> Shit. anyway i'll put this back together later but anyway so i like this little plate i took it off at first but this will fit an ulti clip this will fit straps however you want to carry it i just felt that for me let's see in the back if i've got it in my pocket inside boom boom i, I carry it inside my pocket like so so i carry it that way i just want to put one in and then we'll be out of there but this way when i come back to it i will know which way to go but this is the SE Candura. I'll leave a link to it. One of my affiliate links for Amazon. 7566. You can Google. You might be able to find it somewhere cheaper. I tend to think and I found a lot of better deals on Amazon or really good deals. So this guy right here, the only thing I hate about it is the sheath. And I've even gotten to tolerate it because it's so short that if I carry it at my hip at about 3 o'clock, I don't know it's there. This is the LT right. Frontier first. This is the smallest LT right in their line, if I'm not mistaken. And LT right's kind of a small, medium batch American maker um, that makes these little beautiful knives. This is a little satin ground, Magna Cut, Micarta handles, nice brass lanyard tube, very comfortable grip. It has got the sharpest spine. Let me do something for you. Since we're getting close to the end, and I know y'all know what this is. I always tend to fall back on this. And I'll probably tonight set the house on fire, which would serve me right. But it may be that I cannot get my rod out of my bag, in which case, well, yeah, I can just take this. Let's do this. Nope. Guys, I'm not going to waste much more of your time. Alright, I was going to take the ferro rod out and show you guys how sharp, and you can tell. See how it scratches my fingernail? I mean, this spine is so sharp you can even see some black areas where i've struck my ferro rod with it so for a hiking camping knife for a small little banger of a knife in magna cut this one is fantastic both as a slicer cutter food prep knife trout cleaning knife um you know you name it feather sticking knife ferro rod striking knife fire starting i just think it's a great little package and what amazed me about this, this is a USA made knife. Again, a bigger batch. Probably not handmade, probably not custom, I don't know. I just know I found it at River's Edge Cutlery, I think. Now I'll put a link to them. You won't find Magna Cut, but they've got A2 or something else. But this was $95 with the sheath. Five and a half inches long. $95 knife and you can buy them in some cases without a sheath if you're going to get a custom sheath made and I know these fit really well in some Oak City leather sheaths or in some Joe uh, Lancelot leather sheaths. It's a great sheath. I just wish I could somehow get it where I could carry it scout but I really need to get another sheath for it or a Kydex sheath. But guys those are my favorite from my collection not my favorite well I don't know of any other... Oop, I left one out. I haven't even got to the best value yet. But the reason is, I've not reviewed this yet. I've carried this now for two days. And this is a little knife I picked up at Walmart. If you saw the unboxing, it's down there a couple of videos ago. It's a Swiss Tech. It's a little D2. It's called the Swiss Tech Lite. L-E-I-C-H-T. It's only available at Walmart. D2 blade steel on the spine. 
you got like here you got my car to handles I'm gonna take it apart you got a lanyard hole here because I'm curious if these red G10 uh, liners will come off or if they're glued to it you've got this little hammer pommel here at the end you've got an extremely thin grind and this knife was $37.87. So I saw it as an impulse buy when I was getting my dad some insurers. It's six inches long. It has got a very slim 11.60 blade stock. Behind the edge is a thin .0195. The handle comes in really thin too at 0 0.50, but it's contoured. And I'm going to see what happens if those liners come out. Because A, I think it would look better, black on black. And B, I think it would thin it up just a little bit. But guys, this is, hadn't been reviewed yet. It will get its own dedicated review. But it was worthy because it was so inexpensive. I bought it just on an impulse buy because I was walking by and I saw the box. And the way it's packaged, watch the unboxing video. But this is the Swiss Tech Like, and it's $37.88. We've got the Candiri at 7566. This little guy is 95. I think the ones that if I can find them in stock for you that I link might be a little less. They're probably going to be A1 steel, great steel. This is the little Crowhawk, which comes in. It's from Tops. It's right around 108. We've got the L Max. Rainier USA made fast pack. This bad boy comes in right around one. What was it? 109, I think it was. And then this guy, I paid 99 for it, but they're on sale. The ones that are left in the sheep's foot, and I'll lift them, list them. They're my carta. Um, they're 69.95. And then this little custom Baltic blades from beautiful Lithuania. My buddy Paulius are 99 dollars. Handmade, come with this little Kydex sheath, fantastic knife. You've got Lithuanian made, Italian made, USA, USA, China, USA, USA. All fantastic values, all good knives. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I appreciate your time. I appreciate you hanging out with me. Most importantly, I appreciate it when you look out for the guy or gal to your left, when you look out and play nice with the guy or gal to your right, when you look out and play nice with each other, when you go forward with love in your hearts and you choose debate, not hate. I love you all. Peace.